time, but it was a lot of fastballs and a lot of sliders. Ready to go on a Sunday afternoon in the first pitch to Jose Altuve misses wide. One of his nine home runs have come against right hand pitching. There's a ball in the right field and Altuve has his fourth hit of the series. Astros start the game with a leadoff hit from their second baseman Jose Altuve. Ground ball towards short trouble for the Astros as Schumann steps on the bag and makes the throw. That's a double play. Second straight day. A lot of that has to do with the walk total. That ball on the ground, fielded by J.D. Davis. He'll flip to Aaron Brooks covering, and that'll do it for the Astros in the first inning. A single chance to play on a regular basis. J.J. Blade bat second. Miguel and Duhar back in the lineup. He'll play left field and hit third. Brent Rooker today. J.D. Davis at first base. Ground ball to Altuve. Jose will make the play. So Rennell right back on the mound for the first time since Napped in last night's contest. Hits this ball to right. Kyle Tucker doesn't have to move very far. Tuck puts it away for the second out. Did not allow a run on four hits and a walk. That is a call third strike. Rennell Blanco back and active and showing he has not lost a step. Here's Alex Bregman leading off. Bregman hits the ball sharply into left field for a base hit. Bregman with good numbers against Aaron Brooks, now five for eight in his career. Leadoff base runner for the Astros for the second straight inning. Towards the middle, through the middle into center field, back-to-back -back hits for the Astros. Jeremy Pena now three for four this season against Brooks. He's Grounds this one slowly towards second. Geloff will backflip to Schumann, and Schumann's turn in time for the double play. Bregman will move to third on that double play ground out. Slowly, slowly hit, hit, Jake can beat it out. He's got, He's got an RBI. RBI. The throw is going to be just, just, just in time. Schumann makes the play. Right. 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 The Astros right. in the second. second. Did we leave that hat here? I had it stored in the possum cave behind us. Swing and a miss. Langoliers goes down on three pitches. How about Renel Blanco off? Is that with a hazmat suit? A unique item here in Oakland. There's the first base runner of the day for the A's. Seth Brown on a 1-2 pitch, singles into right field. So he is there with one out. Brown's been hitting. Swing and a miss. Wow. Right now on two of the three batters this inning has Struck them out on efficient and effective pitches going. And that's a three-pitch strikeout again. Rennell strikes out three in the inning. And there, even though there's a righty on the mound, and Joey Loperfito hasn't had a chance to play much at all this week. This ball hit the deep center, but it's going to be playable for J.J. Blade right on the edge of the warning track. Put into perspective how far up there that is. Another base hit for Dubon. Five game hitting streak for Dubon. He's nine for his last 14 as he keeps raising that batting average up. Altuve hits one off the glove of Brooks. He'll underhand it to first. Dubon's able to get to second on the play. Dubon had to freeze. Just off the plate, ball four. Tucker draws his 42nd walk of the year. Hit sharply, but the second baseman, Geloff is there. He bobbles it, and Jordan's going to be safe. Everybody is safe. Kind of an awkward attempt at that ground ball, and Jordan's going to reach, and the bases are now loaded. Got Bregman. So Brooks has been able to work around some trouble today. He has given up. Both sides the plate. Geloff goes down on strikes. Rennell has struck out. Five in a row, his last five outs, that is. That ball hit into left field, and another base hit on a 1-2 pitch. And that's going to bounce around out there as Dubon didn't come up with it cleanly. Getting into second base is going to be Schumann. Little looping ground ball towards Pena. Fields it on a hop. Just beats Toro by a step. And that'll be the second out. Lede sends one to Bregman, and that'll do it for the A's in the third inning. Renell gives up a hit. There was an error involved. That one's sky, but this will be in play. Second baseman Geloff gives way to the right fielder, Seth Brown, and Pena retired for the first out of the inning. You know, consecutive hits coming in against that. There you go. John finds the inside. 
can get two out of it at least. Yeah, John's going to head to second. Julia's picked the stick selection. John Singleton doubles here with one out. You know, basically getting sent down because you're scuffling. How about Jake Myers? First and third for the Astros. Yiner sends one to center field, deep enough to score the run, still going back on it is Blade. Tagging and heading home is going to be John Singleton and the Astros in front, one to nothing, thanks to the Yiner Diaz sack fly. Great job by Yiner. A little ground ball towards the middle, and that'll be played and bobbled, and Schumann flips it past Gelloff. Should have been routine, instead it's going to be second and third as the A's botch another play on the infield that was absolutely as routine as it gets on a fielder's choice he make them pay jose grounds one towards the hole that's going to be through for a base hit two runs are going to score the astros do take advantage of the extra out altuve drives in two it's now three to nothing with boston and miami coming into today there goes altuve and he's going to steal without a throw jose altuve after the visit at the mound Tucker drives one high and deep to right field all the way back Brown this ball's gone number 18 for Kyle Tucker the fastest Astro ever to 18 home runs in his 53rd game of the year and it's 5 nothing Houston King Tuck unloading on that sinker on the inside showing some quick hands may have chased one up out of the zone to get to that 3-2 count but gets a sinker in that he can handle and he pummels it. No stranger to that territory up above the manual scoreboard. That's where they wanted it. Tucker said, nice try. I'll see if he can get something to drive. He skies one, but it's not going to be deep enough for Jordan's liking. J.J. Blade will shield his eyes in the bright sky here in Oakland and put it away for the final out. That was great. Oh, it's great. You look tiny up there. So small. Thank you. Booth. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Alex Bregman shields his eyes and makes the play. So is it windy up there? Is it pretty comfortable? It's a little windy. Had a great view of the Oakland Hills. This one skied almost as high as where Julie is. But That's what I was point. wondering. <laughs> <laughs> look out. Pena was looking like he wanted to catch that pop up. It's too bad they couldn't figure it out. Oh, catch it, Julia. This one's towards Julia. Is it going to be deep enough for Seth Brown's liking? No. Jake Myers hangs with it for the final out. So that one hit deep. To... Who's your camera guy up there with you? The Bart. He did a nice job, too, having to carry the camera up there. For real. In the middle of your screen. Yep. You know this area. JP hits it to third. JP's going to have to hustle to avoid a double play, and he does. Close play. Zach Geloff thought. There goes Pena, the pitch is off the plate, ball four. The Astros will have two runners on. Out of Jake, that last pitch looked pretty good, but the new pitcher, Tyler Ferguson, doesn't get the call, and now it's a wow. four-pitch walk. Yiner leagues before making his big league debut this year, so perseverance pays off. Yiner Diaz to short, and the A's are able to turn their third double play of the game. This one with the base of the A's. This ball hit pretty high and pretty well to left, but it's Playable, it appears, for Mauricio Dubon, and he has it on the warning track. And he's down on strikes again, having trouble with the breaking ball from Rennell. The slider gets him this time for strikeout number six. Ground ball towards short. Pena charges, throws on the run, and that is a strike to John Singleton for a 1 2 3 inning. Now back with the A's, just activator, just brought back from the minor leagues during this series as he strikes out Dubon, a hard guy to strike out for the first out of the foul, a hit or a walk. And so far today, he's come in and walked the first and then picked up a double play and a couple of strikeouts. Two away in the end, he gets out to the Tucker rolls this one over to the right side. Geloff is there. And Ferguson has a strong one, two, three inning with a couple of strikeouts and ball. Sticky substance. In now was suspended for 10 games after that. Schumann delivers one deep to left field, and this ball's gone. Max Schumann hits his third home run of the season.
And that is the first run allowed by Renell Blanco against the A's in eight innings of work. It's now a five to one game. Well, again, the nine hole hitter wreaking havoc against Astros pitching with Schumann hitting that solo home run. His error responsible for that big inning of the Astros gets at least one back with this swing. Fastball center cut and elevated. Schumann got into it. Actually checked his hand that evening. This ball into left field for a base hit. Rennell frustrated as he gives up an 0-2 base hit. The A's have their base hits. Keep runners off the board. This will help. Off the mound, and Jeremy Pena will have an easy turn of a double play. That one went off the ramp of the mound and went right that zone. This has been by far his best command of the season. This one a little tapper towards first. It's going to stay fair. John Singleton gloves it and gets to the bag. Renel Blanco coming back from suspension. And you didn't fall. First pitch swinging is Jordan Alvarez as he faces a pitcher making his major league debut. It's been a pretty good conversation in the dugout. Towards the middle, and that's through. Alex Bregman on base for a third time today. He's got two singles and a walk. Oh, Alex, a one-out base runner here. No. There was some hidden video that we just uncovered. This ball towards the hole is going to be knocked down, and it's going to go towards the line. And that's going to be a base hit for Jeremy Pena, his second hit of the game. So not hit very hard, but perfectly placed. Call the third strike, Singleton down looking. That's the first major league strikeout for O'Loughlin as he gets the lefty Singleton for the second out of the inning. That's inside, that'll load him up. Astros draw yet another walk. They have taken five walks. This one in the center, playable. J.J. Blade and the Astros will strand three more in the inning. That's Jack O'Loughlin. Now he's in danger of walking his first batter of the game, and he does. So he does not go unscathed in terms of his first start of the year. That one popped up. Jeremy Pena will make the play for the first out of the inning. Ground ball towards Bregman. High chop to second for one. And the turn not in time. Nice job by Singleton keeping the ball in the infield. That'll be out number two in the inning. That's a pop-up, and Rennell's going to get through seven innings. Yiner Diaz avoids his mask at home plate, and Rennell slaps his catcher five. I think we even anticipated, you talked about that pitch count maybe being around 85, and he ends up with 104 pitches, 71 of them being strikes. Fly ball to center field on the first pitch off the bat. More than likely be the pitcher in the eighth inning. Altuve sends it sharply, but on the line, caught by Schumann, the shortstop. And Altuve, two for five in the game. San Diego. This ball to center. J.J. Blade back on it, and he will have it. Very efficient. Six pitch. There was a lot of excitement. <laughs> that was a wide range of emotions. Brian Abreu uh, warmed up a couple of times. That's a nice pitch. Froze him on a 2-2 breaking ball and locked him up for a called third strike. Through 104 pitches in his return. This one towards the hole and into right field. Abraham Toro has his second hit. Stopping at second is going to be Geloff. The A's have two runners on here in the eighth. Only the fifth strike for Abreu of his 13 pitches. Ground ball to Altuve. Goes to Pena for one. The turn in time. Double play. Astros turn a huge double play. Great visit by Josh Miller. There you see the double barrel. 2-2 Two -two pitch is a called third strike. You are not down on strikes. O'Loughlin has his second career strikeout. Both the challenge system and the all ABS system. This one slowly hit towards short. Schumann makes the play and Bregman retired for the second out of the inning. That's now six in a row sent down. A little slow chopper. He's going to have to test that leg after fouling one off his leg, and he is out. Schumann makes the play. Good major league. Ground ball. Bregman on one big hop. Gloves it. Throws the first, and Andujar retired for the first out of the ninth. Ball 
hit the center field hit well sending Myers back and this ball is gone. Jay Langoliers has 11 home runs in the year tied with Brent Rooker for the team lead 10 of those have come as a catcher. That's the most for any AL catcher it's now a five to two game. Two runs in this game. Coming across via the home run. This looked like a changeup from Josh Hader. 90 just leaked back out over the middle part of the plate and got some carry on it. Try to hold up, goes too far. That's a strikeout. Nevin picks up the second out with a strikeout on the fly ball right field. Tucker. Looks like he has it lined up. He does on the warning track as J.D. Davis gave it a ride, but he is the final out of this ball game. Astros win it five to two. They take two out of three from the Oakland A's. They have now won 12 of their last 17 games, so they'll head into Seattle for a four-game series down by three and a half. And Blummer, that's a nice series win. It is a nice series win, and that's what we talked about in that open. Just go out there and continue to win series. Of course, you'd like to start to creep back into that American League West, but at the same time, the Astros are trying to creep back to 500, and I think that's when you can start talking about division leads and contending and things like that. But this is a great start, getting some timely hitting and taking advantage of errors given to them, and then finishing things off. It was great to see Renel Blanco pitching on that mound again and pitching well.